Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss a family of torque strip characteristics with different leakage reactances. Here, if you are using the different different leakage reactances, so we should consider the leakage reactances is like this. First, X2 and X2 is there. X2 naught is there. Next, X2 naught dash is there, and X2 naught dash is more than this, and X2 naught double dash is this. For example, the leakage reactances will be increases. So this is for the first is the this is for the X2 naught for the leakage reactance of X2 naught, and this is for the X2 naught dash. That means this leakage reactance will be increases than the first one. The third one is the highest leakage reactance X2 double dash. X2 double dash three is there. The why why these curves are available like this? Why these curves are available like this? So for that purpose, so first we will look at the torque max. Maximum torque value. So why this is the high? This is the low. Torque maximum is this is the low, and this torque maximum is again low value. This torque maximum is again low point. Okay. So we have different different torque maximums for different different torque slip characteristics. Here the reason is the simple. You know the formula for the torque maximum. In the torque maximum, you know that. We already discussed that is K e2 square by 2x2 naught. That means here the maximum torque will be inversely proportional to the leakage reactance. Leakage reactance. So that's why by increasing x2 naught, the leakage reactant the maximum torque will be decreases. Maximum torque will be decreases. This is the first thing. What about second thing? Slip at torque maximum. Slip at the torque maximum. You know the slip at torque maximum is R2 by X2 naught. R2 by X2 naught. Here the slip at torque maximum is inversely proportional to the X2 naught. Inversely proportional to the X2 naught. So just observe here. The first case this is the slip at torque maximum. But for the second case, slip at torque maximum will be decreases. You can take the dash. For third case, the slip at torque maximum will be again decreases. The reason is here the leakage reactance is inversely proportional. Inversely proportional. And what about starting torque? Just to observe here, if we consider the starting torque also, the starting torque you know that. The starting torque we can write is inversely proportional to the x2 naught square. X2 naught square starting torque also inversely proportional to the x2 naught square. That means if you take this point is the starting torque, this is high, and this point is low. Again, this point is low. The starting torques will also be decreases. Starting torques will also be decreases. Okay. Just observe here. With increase in leakage reactances, the operating point moves closer to the synchronous speed. So just observe here. If you consider the three things, if you, this is the point, if you consider here, the operating point is closer, very very closer. So that means it moves because the linear region will be less. Linear region will be less. Linear region will be less. But operating point moves like this. Operating point is moves towards the synchronous speed. The maximum and starting torques decreases. Just look at here. Here the maximum torque is there. You know, we yeah, already discussed maximum torque is decreases, starting torque is decreases. So by observing this, simply the torque and slip characteristics are simple. By by with different leakage reactance. If the leakage reactances increases, the maximum torques will be decreases. Look at here. This is the maximum torque decreases, decreases, 
and slippage torque maximum values also decreases values also decreases this is the important thing and it is nearer to synchronous speed it is moves closer to synchronous speed this is very important and maximum and starting torque will be decreases next here the next family of torque slip characteristics with different state or voltages if we are using the different different state or voltages how it varies so you know just consider this is the torque different state or voltages so just take it as this is the voltage v and v dash for example if we are increasing voltage v dash so if you are decreasing the voltage voltage is high if you are decreasing v double dash and the v triple dash one one two three, v triple dash what happen when the voltages supply voltages are decreases then look at here what about maximum torque so maximum torque is proportional to the voltage square proportional to the voltage square so that's why here here the voltage will be decreases means maximum torque of the second case also decreases so for this for this for the v and for this v dash and for about v v double dash so just look at here this is the v double dash next thing v triple dash v triple dash okay so just up so every time the maximum torque then the supply will be decreases the supply will be decreases the maximum torque will also be decreases so this is a maximum torque point and this is also the maximum torque point and this point is also the maximum torque point so every time this maximum torque will be changes every time the maximum torque will be changes so this is the first thing what about starting torque the starting torque also proportional to the supply square so initially the starting torque will be high it will be decreases it will be decreases like this so starting torque also proportional to supply that's why by decreasing the supply starting torque will be decreases starting torque will be decreases slip equal 0 to slip equal to 1 okay these are the maximum torques next case what about slip at torque maximum just observe here the slip at torque maximum is same for the all the cases why it is same because slip at torque maximum is equal to r2 by x2 naught only that means it will depends on rotor resistance and it will depends on rotor leakage reactance it doesn't depends on the supply that's why the slip at torque maximum will be the same for the all the conditions for all the conditions that's why slip at torque maximum is we can consider it is a independent independent of supply this is independent of the supply okay so these are the different different conditions these are the different different condition so just observe here these are the waveforms here the speed is in starting synchronous speed and speed moves and decreases moves to zero whenever speed reaches uh, slip start from zero end with slip equal one the speed will start from synchronous speed and end with the zero okay so these are the torque slip characteristics for with a different state or voltages so whenever the supply voltage is decreases the maximum torque of induction motor will be decreases because it is proportional to supply square what about starting torque starting torque is also proportional to supply square starting torque will also be decreases what about slip at torque maximum slip at torque maximum is independent of the supply voltage so that's why it is slip at torque maximum will be fixed for the any case fix for the any case so these are the things about the torque slip characteristics for the with different leakage reactances reactants and torque slip characteristics for the different state or voltages 
so completely we have the three things the things are the first thing is torque slip characteristics with different rotor resistances that means with different r2 okay second torque slip characteristics with different x2 not rotor leakage reactances third torque slip characteristics with different supply voltages the different supply voltage we should consider the when we are discussing the all these three things almost we should understand how the torque is varies with the slips with the different rotor parameters these are the rotor parameters and these are the supply voltage remaining in the torque equation all are the constant that's why we should take only these three okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you